We're just days away now from the 20th anniversary of 9-11. The attacks changed our country forever, and it is a time that's especially hard for people who lost loved ones. And for two young Virginia physicians, both at their first jobs, 9-11 shaped what kind of doctors they would become over the next 20 years. 7 News' Victoria Sanchez spoke with them in this story you'll see only on 7. The emergency department on the morning of September 11, 2001, was quiet. One of the ER nurses uh, had brought her teenage daughter in who had an earring stud stuck in her earlobe. And I remember that was the drama that we were dealing with that morning. Although just four and a half miles from Washington, D.C., Dr. John Severa says the slow Tuesday was not unusual for Virginia Hospital Center's ER. And it was just myself and one other physician uh, named uh, Dr. Peter Liu. I had been working at uh, Virginia Hospital Center for about six weeks before 9-11. The doctors were tending to patients when the first plane hit, then the second. That's kind of when it uh, kind of clicked in. I, I pulled aside Dr. Liu, who I was working with, and I said, um, Peter, uh, that seems kind of intentional, two planes hitting two different buildings. I said, that, that could have been D.C. 30-year-old Severa and 28-year-old Lou, with less than two and a half years professional experience between them, helped lead the hospital through one of the most trying times in the nation's history. About an hour after the first attack in New York, the EMS radio crackled. They had a report of a plane that may have crashed near Crystal City. That message changed everything for the young doctors and Virginia Hospital Center President and CEO James Cole. And that, you know, was incomprehensible. I mean, nobody was, that was almost unbelievable. 50 physicians and 75 nurses from the hospital and private practices came to help. Within 30 minutes, personal and military vehicles pulled up to the ambulance bay with injured Pentagon employees. People just being brought in by their colleagues, just like, you know, help me. Um, and so, you know, it, it was a little chaotic at that point. And usually how this works is that an ambulance will bring somebody in, but you're taking patients out of the back of cars. Correct. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, you, know, I, you know, people, I think the people started first just kind of just shoving you in the cars and bringing you over here as, you know, as this, is the, this is the closest hospital. As 44 patients were treated, medical first responders waited for another group to arrive. I am right here. I had glasses on that day. Everyone is looking toward the right. There's some two, two stretchers, I believe, in the photograph. But there are no patients in that photograph. It was so sobering, I think, at about that point to, for all of us to begin to understand that there were not going to be any more patients, that there were no more survivors. The doctors who took charge on 9-11 still work together in the same ER, and another friendship grew out of the devastation two decades ago. I think uh, the healthcare system in, in general learned that in, in potential situations like that, we need to cooperate. And out of that, um, the hospitals in Northern Virginia formed a Northern Virginia Hospital Alliance. A partnership to help and heal the community through it all. Victoria Sanchez. 7 News.